Hey, how's it going? Okay, so sometimes when you're opening CSV files, you might not get an error, but you might get a very strange result when you have commas in your values. So as an example, let's have a look at some CSV data. Okay, so here we have some data about crew members of a starship. The first row looks okay. Crew ID, first name, description. But the second row, uh, that's where we run into a problem because first we have the ID of 22, the name of Spock, and then the description, he is logical, comma, and that is cool. Now clearly that's, that's one value, it's the description, but there's a comma in that description. So when we now open this CSV file in, in Pandas, we're going to get uh, a strange result. The same thing goes for this final row here with, with Kirk. He is the captain, comma, as you probably know. So before we fix this problem, let's just open it open this file in pandas and when we open CSV files in pandas we have to create a CSV reader that can read through uh, the, the data buffer that is being created um, in this with open um, method that we're calling here Okay, so we've created a CSV reader that will read through the rows of our data and we've uh, told it that the delimiter is a comma, as is the case in CSV files. You could replace this with something else, but I don't recommend it. You could use uh, uh, periods or whatever, but in CSV files, commas is, is the way to go. So let's uh, loop through uh, the CSV data we have row by row and count the number of elements that we can find in them. Okay, so we're going to print the number of elements in each row and then print the row itself. When I run this, we can see that, okay, the first row looks okay. We have three elements, crew ID, first name, and description. That is as expected. When we look at the second row, however, you can see, oh, there's four elements. So first there's the ID, and then there's Spock, and then it's, he is logical, comma, and that is cool. And those are treated as two separate elements or, or values in our CSV data. So that gives us a row element count of four. This is inaccurate. The same thing goes for the last element, um, last description here in, 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 our, in our data for Kirk, where it says, he is the captain, comma, as you probably know. Now we know this to be the same value, so we need to do something about this. The way you solve this problem is you use quotation marks to um, enclose your values in the CSV data. Let's open our original data one more time. And now enclose each value in quotation marks. The convention is to use double quotation marks because Excel um, may run into some trouble if you use single quotation marks. So that's just a, a pro tip for <laughs> when you work with Excel generated CSV data. Another situation that might occur here is that for those of you that use Macintosh, uh, your quotation marks may look strange in text edit. And that is because you have something called enable smart quotation enab uh, uh, enabled, and you need to, to disable that. I've posted a link in the description below that you can use to, to disable that. Uh, in our case, I've done this already, so we should be ready to go. I close the data down. And if I now rerun this loop, we'll see that we get the result that we actually wanted. The first row has three elements, the second row has three elements, and you can see here that the final one, the description, includes this comma as part of the value, and that is because we enclosed it in double quotation marks. So that is a trick. That's how you escape commas in CSV files.